Good morning, YouTubians. Kermit's Ghost, and we are on the J's today. There's a little under 100. It's about 80, 90, something like that. So we'll get through these pretty quick. Before I start, uh, someone was mentioning um, a couple of days ago in my earlier videos that I made my, some mistakes with names. Now, I want to clarify this. I do do this quite a lot. I'm terrible with names, absolutely terrible. At one point, uh, I'm talking about the Big Bang or Big Game or something, and I say Ben Parsons in, is in it. It's not Ben Parsons, it's Jim Parsons. Ben Parsons is a YouTuber. Uh, things like that. If I meant to say, like, um, Russell Crowe, and I say um, Kurt Russell, something like that. I'm terrible with names. I was uh, had a thing where I thought um, there was a problem with my memory. I went to the hospital, and it's, you know, it's an, uh, a thing I'm being treated for. So I just want to point it out, uh, if I make mistakes like that, um, you know. Uh, so on the J's. Anyway, uh, let's see if I can get some names right in this one. Jabberwocky, this is uh, Terry Ginningham. I'm going to have a look, see, yes it is, Terry Ginningham. Um, criterion release, this has got the Criterion release. I'm not sure why they chose this one for Criterion. It's a good film, just seems a little bit out of sorts. For a criterion, I don't know why. Although it's, it maybe it's just random criterion. Uh, Jackal, this is a great film. Um, uh, Bruce Willis, yeah, not Burt Reynolds. Uh, Bruce Willis and Richard Gere. Richard Gere is an ex-IRA soldier, and he's bought. Well, he's kind of given a deal. If you can hear snoring, it's my dog's in the background. Um, he's bought out of prison on the condition that he helps. Uh, Sidney Poitier's character tracked down the jackal. The jackal was played by Bruce Willis. There's also like a, a small part in this played by Jack Black. And uh, I think uh, it's probably one of his, if not his first role. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. And all his lines are improv on this. And he's, he's really funny. He steals the scenes when he's in it. He's, um, he manufactures the big gun. If you've seen it, you know what I mean. And uh, he's trying to extort Bruce Willis's character. Not a clever thing to do. Jack and the Cuckoo Clock Heart. This is a German import. It's very sort of Tim Burton-esque. It's um, the, the style. A bit like um, Box Trolls. And like uh, the Corpse's Bride sort of animation. Um, more Box Trolls, I'd say, actually. I don't think it's stop animation. It looks CGI, but it's, it's a really nice story. Fantastic animation. Would have looked really good in 3D. Although it is kind of like a 3D effect on it. It's um, good. And it's a German release, but it's got an English audio. Because I think that's out in America, but nowhere else other than Germany. Jack and Jill with... Uh, this has got Al Pacino. Hoo -ha! Yes. Um, Adam Sandler. And Adam Sandler. This is the next rental copy. I wasn't going to spend over like 50 pence on this. Uh, I did see it at the cinema and I did go out and buy it as well I no, and I've not seen it since you gotta have films like this in your collection to appreciate the really good stuff put it that way this yeah Jackie a biopic of um, of uh, Kennedy's wife uh, Jackie Kennedy it's um, a JFK and this is sort of set after the assassination that's not a spoiler. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I didn't particularly enjoy this film as much as I thought I would. It's a good enough film. I just thought it would have been, been better. Um, you've got to get past Natalie Portman's accent. I don't know how accurate that was to uh, uh, Jackie Kennedy, but it's quite, uh, you know, you've got to get used to it. It's a great, um, it's a great story. It's just how it's told and the style it's told like an interview style is i don't know i didn't like the pacing of it the jacket uh now adrian brody kieran knightley I, this is a french release and uh, i can't remember sometimes the french put on forced uh, subtitles and you can't remove them i can get past that i'm not sure if it is on this one i can't remember i haven't seen it for a long time now this is a story adrian brody is um he's in a mental a secure mental health hospital and he's being subject to uh, like radical new treatment. Uh, he's locked in, you know, the, the drawers in the morgue where they store the bodies. 
He's locked inside one of those in a straight jacket and he kind of time travels to the future and where he meets Kira Knightley who's going to try and help save him from dying. Jacob's Ladder. Now this is one of those films like Pet Cemetery. I saw Pet Cemetery recently and I had a feeling I'd seen it before but it must have been like at least like 30 years earlier when it first came out. Same like The Burning, Halloween, that sort of thing. I don't know if I've seen this. I really don't know, so I can't really tell you anything about that. Uh, Jackpot. Jack Reacher. Now, these are really good films. Tom Cruise, when he... Because uh, the book... In the book, Jack Reacher is like six foot five, something like that. He's just like this big burly marine or whatever, or whatever uh, branch of the army he's in. I'm not sure... Could be a marine. I don't know. Um... What he is, he's, uh, well, he gets a job anyway. And he, and like people say, oh, actually, they accept him for who he is, Tom Cruise, uh, five foot, whatever. And he does a phenomenal job. He plays an ex military investigator and uh, got Vosman Pike in this, Robert Duval, quite a small role for Robert Duval, but he's, he's really good in it. And you've also got the um, uh, Werner Herzog, the, uh, the German New Wave director. Great film, lots of action. It's a sni I love sniper films as well. It's really good. He's a bit like a Hercule Poirot, sort of really sort of sees beyond the clues. Great fighter as well. Then you have the sequel. The sequel is very, very good. Just not as good as the first one. Um, and you've got uh, an actress in this, and I think her name, uh, where is it? Kobe Smolders. Oh, there's a name. It's this woman. She's um, an army officer. She gets framed, and he has to go in and. Um, clear a name. Jack Ryan. Ooh, uh, Kieran Knightley. <laughs> Kieran Knightley and um, I know his name. Kevin Costner. They. Uh, oh, and you got Chris Pine. Chris Pine playing Jack Ryan. It's a part of the Jack Ryan universe. It's not as good as I don't think as the others. As much as I like the cast, I love Kevin Costner, Kieran Knightley, and uh, Chris Pine. <laughs> but it's quite, I don't know, it lacks something. You've got a good villain this. Ken, uh, Kenneth Branagh plays the Russian villain. It's very good. And it's very tense in place. When he's going in to um, put the, uh, it's either he's downloading something or something. He goes up into uh, Kenneth Branagh's office. It's very tense, that bit. Jack the Giant Killer. Now, this isn't uh, Harry Housen, very Harry Housen. This is um, Howard A. Anderson. I love these kind of things. You've got the, the double-headed monster, the, the sea creatures. I don't know if you can pick any of that out, but I love this kind of old cinema. Well, I say old, it's 1962. Jack the Giant Slayer in 3D. 3D is good in this. I saw this at the cinema. This has got um, Ian McShane, Stanley Tucci. I don't know who Eleanor Thompson, Tomlinson is. I'm not sure. Um, Nicholas Holt, he's uh, the new um, Tolkien, in the new Tolkien film, plays Tolkien. Bill Nye is in this, and um, Ewan McGregor, I think I said that already. Um, there's a great little segment in this that shows the origins of the Crown Jewels in uh, in the UK. I like that touch, that's really good. Very good film. Uh, Jamaica Inn, this is uh, Charles Lawton and Maureen O'Hara. This is a um, Arrow release, it comes with a little book. And a DVD and a Blu-ray and alternate art i will show you the alternate art that's ugly art that's probably um an original picture like artwork but I like that i like that one james and a giant peach saw this at the cinema love this kind of animation fantastic story this has got um jane leaves or something like that. she was uh daphne moon in fraser she's the highest paid english actress at one point um just a really good adaptation of Roald Dahl's James and Giant Peach. It's just a lovely, lovely film. That's a, an American import place fine on UK players. Jane Austen Book Club. Kind of a, not so much a comedy, it's sort of like a romantic drama, if anything. Emily Blunt is in this. Um, Maria Bello, she's now in NCIS. Uh, who else is in this? Maggie Grace. Thank you, Grace. Isn't that the one from uh, Taken Films? I think it is, yes. And um, a few other, Kathy Baker, a few other people. 
it was a nice film this was in cex and they say they don't sell imports this is um because this isn't available in the uk this is a european import so i don't want to do and selling that pause it and on to the next pile okay in the red case we have jane got a gun not seen this one natalie portman john egerton i like him ewan mcgregor uh, noah emirates i don't know anything about this not even seen a trailer but it looks good the cover looks good <laughs> jason and the argonauts and jason and the argonauts and i never double dip unless i really have to and this is the reason behind this one is the hmv premium i have them all this is number 15 from 1963 so that's why i have that version this one is the indicator release came as part of a box set and i don't think uh i th i don't think either has extra um extra extras that makes sense so i don't know which i can't i don't know i can't get rid of either one of them but i don't want more than one in the collection so i don't know i don't know uh jules a uh, great film great book too the book was very different uh, you have um there's a relationship between richard dreyfus's character and roy schneider's wife in the book it gets a little bit racy pete eventually wrote the book brilliant film absolutely brilliant i love every minute of it and in case you don't know what jaws is about it's about a small it was about a small town fishing town terrorized by a big shark over a holiday period and uh, it's all about the politics of it and going to catch it um jaws 2 jaws 3 uh that was that's in 3d jaws 3 and jaws the revenge with sir michael kane god bless you sir Uh, what's this? Jay and Sign Up Bob Strike Back. Now, I'm pretty sure I have the whole thing of the, the, the mall rats. I don't know about the mall rats. Clark, I don't know. I'll have to check. I have to check. J. Edgar. This is a really good film. Um, I went and saw this with my daughter. She was bored stiff with this film. It's directed by Clint Eastwood. It's a story of J. Edgar. It's like a biopic covers quite a big part of his life as well you've got naomi watts in this army hammer he's from the social network place of twins amongst other things josh lucas judy dench and of course leonardo dicaprio and um i love american politics and this is um when he set up the the fbi fingerprinting and all that sort of thing brilliant absolutely brilliant Jeremiah Johnson, Robert Redford. This is number 28 from 1972 of the HMV Premium line. The Jerk. Uh, yes, The Jerk, Steve Martin. Directed by Carl Reiner. Wasn't he, um, wasn't he in Ocean's Eleven, Carl Reiner? He was Soul, I think. Or am I thinking of a different person? Uh, a very funny film. Very funny film. Just bought that for someone else, actually. Jay Maguire. Now... Tom Cruise does so many good films. I think this could possibly be up there as, a, as my favorite. I don't know. A few good men. That's pretty good. I don't know. This is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. He plays a sports agent that gets conscious overnight and um, he writes a mission statement, sends it out, regrets it the next day, tries to get it back, tries to put the genie back in the bottle, you know, toothpaste back in the tube. Too late. It's out there. He gets fired. Loses all his clients, bear one, and that is um, Cuba Gooden Jr., who becomes more than a client, becomes a friend, almost like a family member. Just brilliant. And um, Cameron Crowe, who wrote and directed it, he he was going to count. You know the scene where he's like, uh, you complete me, you know, like uh, we live in a cynical world, and he, he does the, the speech in front of all the, the divorcees. He was going to cut that from the film. He didn't think it was a good scene, but my God, thank God he kept that in. Jersey Boys, another Clint Eastwood directed movie. Jewel on the Nile. Uh, this was produced by Michael Douglas as well. In case you didn't know that. JFK, another, this is a good section for uh, American politics. JFK, Oliver Stone's JFK. This, oh God, what a film. The, just brilliant from start to finish it's quite a long film if i recall it's about three it's over three hours it's 205 minutes 
worth the investment. You've got um, just a phenomenal cast. You've got Kevin Costner, Kevin Bacon, Tommy Lee Jones, Laurie Metcalf, Gary Oldman, Michael Rooker, uh, Sissy Sp uh, Spacek. You've got Joe Pesci. It doesn't say on this, but you've got John Candy as well. And the shot. Um, now, it's a story of um, Kevin Costner's. He's who's he playing? Jim Garrison who investigates the uh, the shooting now be it um oswald or be it the the cia or be it multiple shooters be it the x uh the x-men saying that it was michael fassbender that was trying to curve the magic bullet um magneto he investigates <laughs> don't worry magneto is not in this and uh but the shot you know the, you know the the kill shot takes out half half of the the president's head my god when he plays that on a loop at the end stomach churning i think that actually uh, went on jigsaw now i've not seen this do i need to see if anybody's seen this do i need to see all the saw films i've seen the first four three or four do i need to f watch the rest before i see this let me know jimmy's hall uh set in ireland in hmm. 1920s a uh, guy buys a hall, it's for dancing and whatnot. He goes away across uh, out of the country. When he comes back, it's all um, like derelict and run down. He's, and everybody's living in poverty and stuff. So he sort of builds it back up, goes into politics. Jimmy's Hall. Nobody now, I don't think you'd recognise. Uh, Jingle All The Way, Arnold Sweaty Knickers. Um, what a film this is. Such a good Christmas film. Uh, popped in a green case. Could have been red. Red would have done as well. Um, Rita Wilson. That's uh, a place his wife. That's actually Tom Hanks' wife in real life. In case nobody knew that. Wait till the after credit scene. Because there's a little bit at the end. In case you've not seen that either. Yeah, oh, James Belushi. James Belushi is a crooked Santa. Um, Sinbad. Oh, it's funny as hell, Sinbad. I've, this is my first encounter with Sinbad as a, an actor. Phil Hartman. The late Phil Hartman. Your wife's cookies. It's just such a good Christmas film. And a little kid. What's uh, oh, what's his name? The little boy who went on to become Darth Vader. Sorry, kid. Can't remember your name. Um, no, it's gone. No. Jobs. Now, I've got this version and I've got the other one with Michael Fassbender. And uh, Seth Rogen's in the other one as well. I like, I like both of those actors. I think this is the better version. And uh, this is Ashton Kutcher. You've got Josh Gad, who plays... Uh, he doesn't play Olaf in this, but he plays Olaf in the Frozen film. Um, J.K. Simmons. It's just a really, really good version. Very, very good biopic. It got a lot of hate because of Ashton Kutcher, but I think he did a good job. Job. That's an import. Um... That's an American import. Joe uh, with um, Nicolas Cage. Who else is in this? Ty Sheridan. I've yet to see this film. Right, okay, I'm going to pause it there and get the next pile. Okay, we've got Clint Eastwood. It's Joe Kidd. This was an actual Mel Paso company. So this is when Clint Eastwood was owning now the company that made the films. Joe Somebody, uh, yeah, it's about, this is a funny film. Tim Allen, Tim Allen's a, a funny actor, and he challenges somebody to a fight at work, and he's just going to training. Who else is in this? Um, I don't recognise any other name. To, oh, Jim Belushi, Jim Belushi. Is that the guy he's fighting? Can't remember. Joe versus the volcano. Uh, I tried to remember the other day if this is the one with um, John Candy in it. I'm pretty sure it is. It's been a while, so I need to watch that again. John Carter. Now this is uh, Taylor Kish. Kitch. Is that you say his name? Taylor Kitch. Where is it? it? Must be on there somewhere. Yeah, Taylor Kitch. He was at one point the most uh, unbankable actor because he did this, he did um, Battleship and something else. And he was, you know, every film he was in, he was losing money. I like this film, I thought it was pretty good. 3D is really good in this as well. It's a little bit 
odd in so much as, um, well, it was written in the 1800s, the book it was based on. So they didn't know much about Mars. And it's like you've got Mar people, aliens living on Mars and that sort of thing. And so it's a little bit odd because you know that ain't going to happen. But it's good. It's a fun film. It's a fun fantasy film. You're going to take every film as if it's a documentary. John dies in the end. That's a Eureka release. Johnny English, Ryan Atkinson. Oh, this is so funny. John Malkovich as well. Again, why is he always cast as a baddie? Natalie and Brugler. Oh, it's a lovely woman. Um, yeah, it's just uh, it's just so funny with the Queen when he keeps mistaking the Queen, <laughs> beating him up. That's brilliant, inspired. And then you have the sequel, just as funny in my opinion. It, Bosman Pike's in this as well. Dominic West. Just full on funny. Uh, and then we've got the, the third one in the outing. I've not seen this yet. John English Strikes Again. I need to watch this because I do like this kind of humour. Uh, Emma Thompson's in this one. And Ben Miller. I don't know if you know that's an English actor, Ben Miller. Johnny Hanson, Ascot, Mickey Rourke, and uh, Forrest Whitaker, Morgan Freeman. That's an American import. Johnny Mn uh, Mnemonic. Now, this film is going to be dated. Uh, I haven't seen it since it first came out. This is um, this was a German release. I made this cover because it came in like a, a steel book kind of thing. I don't want steel books in my collection. I've got nothing against steel books in other people's collections or digi books. Just that I'm very sort of uh, OCD. I got they're all just in Amrit. I don't have any slip covers. Take them all off. So I had to make this cover. Getting back to the fact that this is really dated, it's, uh, the, the concept is that you download information, you smuggle information in people's brains, cross the border, and then undownload, uh, you know, set the, the information free. And uh, he's got this information, like the biggest download ever, probably something like four gigabytes or something, something ridiculously small nowadays. And uh, it's in his brain. If he doesn't get it out, his, his head's going to explode, that sort of thing. Doppelundrons in this, you've also got uh, Ice tea. It's a really good sci-fi film, a dated sci-fi film. Jonah Hex, another film that gets a lot of hate, and I love this film. John Malkovich again is the baddie. <laughs> Josh Brolin, you know, Thanos, um, him at the Goonies, and uh, Megan Fox, Megan Fox scantily clad. Uh, yeah, but um, Josh Brolin, he, can, he has the ability of communicating with the dead. He touches them. And they, I'm sorry, sorry, Kermie. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he touches them and they come alive all the while he's touching them. As soon as he lets go, they're back to dead again. Uh, a bit like uh, a bit like the, the White King out of Game of Thrones. Um, he does it with his mind. <laughs> good film, though, good film. It says on there, Matt LeBlanc. Oh, he's a producer. Matt LeBlanc produced this. Michael Fassbender's in this as well. <clears throat> It's a good film, and it's based on a comic, I think, as well. John Q. Now, this is Denzel Washington. His son uh, has a, uh, a very bad illness. I can't remember what the illness was, um, but the HMO, HMO is not paying for this, uh, um, his health plan thing. So Denzel Washington takes hospital by hostage. You've also got uh, Robert Duvall, James Woods, and Hesh Ray Liotta in this. It's a good drama. Very good drama. John Wick. I imported this way before the UK one came out because I, I just couldn't wait. I saw the trailer, and this came out. This came out on Blue, I think, in Germany before it came at the cinema here. So uh, I'm glad I did because I've watched this tons of times. Great. It's a great thing for um, Keanu Reeves. He's done some good uh, movies like the, the Matrix trilogy. That. And, Johnny Mnemonic. <laughs> John Wick 2. Um, brilliant film. Not as good as the first one, though. Hoping the third one's going to be better than the second one. Still a good film, the second one. The Joneses. Now, this is um, this is an in interesting comment, um, uh, concept. You've got Demi Moore, David Duchovny. I think Amber Heard is in this as well, as the daughter. Anyway, they set these... Um, husband wife daughter son up all fake all actors or salespeople in a like a, a 
middle class environment in the, they give them a house give them a brand new car all the mod cons and they they're pretty much just sales people selling their their products like they're driving the car the neighbors see the car and it, and like they to job near go to, oh you know you can get this car and finance if you go with this company and you know and the wife has people around for dinner and uh, she's sort of pretty much selling everything in the house it's unbeknownst to the neighbors that they're, they're fake it's good it gets complicated when people um especially with the daughter acting up thank you steve steve go and check steve out his channel is casual one sent me this um we'll do a trade he sent me the movie club exclusive from Disney in America, Journey of Natty Gan. Great film, John Cusack. Journeyman, uh, the story of the effects really of boxing. Uh, this guy played by um, Paddy Constantine. Yeah, uh, Jodie Foster, uh, Jodie Foster. See, there I go again, Jodie Foster. It's the first thing I thought. Jodie Whittaker is his wife. Uh, Jodie Whittaker from Doctor Who, she's the new doctor. And uh, yeah, he's a boxer, he has brain injury after a particular fight and it's all about his rehabilitation come to live with it journey's end not seen that one yet um journey to the center of the earth pat boone james mason the book i've seen i read the book a couple of years ago the book so claustrophobic when you're reading that book it's just when they're in the tunnels in um iceland i think it is they go in down in the volcano. Uh, this was available in America on a re uh, limited release, uh, like three thousand copies, and then uh, and it was going for stupid money. It really was like three three hundred bucks. Oh, okay, it's a nice little booklet in this. And um, I bought it from Australia. This isn't Australia, but I don't know what I did with that. I must have given it away. The Australian one I had, probably to my son. And because it came out on Eureka, and this is region B locked, unfortunately. I don't know about the Australian one. Might want to check. That might be region three. Brilliant story. Absolutely brilliant. It's about the journey to the centre of the earth. <coughs> is it Jules Verne? What was it? Uh, yeah, Jules Verne. Jules Verne, the man that never actually left his village ever, and he wrote like from the Earth to the Moon, sent journey to the centre of the earth, round the world in eighty days. Man has a good imagination. Uh, and then you've got the um, Brendan Fraser one. Journey to Center of the Earth. I saw this at the cinema in 3D. Some of the 3D is really obvious, you know, a tape measure that goes right out to the screen. I think this is a great film. I really do. Really good Brendan Fraser film. And young Josh something or another, Josh Hutchison. See, I was gonna say Josh Hartnett. I don't know, maybe I should be tested again. Journey to Mysterious Island, and uh, this time we got The Rock, Sir Michael Caine, God bless you sir, and um, Josh Hutchinson's back again, uh, Vanessa Hudgens, and who's the other guy? Louis Guzman, oh he's funny in this, I think he's funny, yeah. I think he's a good actor, he's not even put, they've not even put him on the cover, He uh, he's the bloke who sort of takes him to the island on the boat, or uh, if you like Vanessa's dad. And I didn't even put him on the cover. Joy. And Judge. This is uh, the two Roberts. Robert Danny Jr. Robert Duval. I'm going to pause it there and get the next set of films. And the first one is Judge Dread. This is the um, Stallone version. Uh, German import. don't know if this is available in any other country. It probably is. Um, it's a decent enough film i guess it's not pretty not as good as the dread one with uh, Carl urban and stunning takes his hat off that's a big mistake. you shouldn't take your hat off never take judge dread's hat off your helmet helmet judgment i uh this is a great film as well you've got a good cast in this who we got we got uh emilio estevez he's kind of leader of the, the group i guess cooper gooden jr again um stephen dorf and you've uh Jeremy Piven doesn't even say his name on this. Uh, Jeremy Piven, and it's about a bunch of guys who I think they're going to a football match or just a night out. I'm pretty sure it's a football match, and see that the highway is just chock a block with traffic, so they take like a, a slip road, go off, and they end up getting lost in some sleazy part of town. Witness something they shouldn't have, and then Dennis Leary, the baddie in this, the villain, comes looking for them. 
good film. Julie and Julia. Jumanji, Jumanji, Robin Williams. Try not to talk about all these films, but if you've not seen this, uh, where, where have you been? Um, Jumanji is it's a board game that once you start, you don't stop until you finish, because if you stop halfway through, uh, the board actually sort of unleashes like hell on earth already, like giant insects and and like carnivorous plants and things like that and, and crocodiles. So you want to get through this board game as quick. If you do actually start, get through it, get off the game. It's a good film. Robin Williams gets trapped in the jungle and that's good. Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. And that's odd because we've got another film in the UK called Welcome to the Jungle and it's called something else in America. So we, was always, we were all wondering what are they going to call Jumanji 2? And they called it Welcome to the Jungle. This is a film nobody wanted. They're all saying, oh, you don't need another Jumanji. It's sacrilegious. And it's a good film. It is a good film. Dwayne Johnson, Jack Black. Jack Black is so funny in this. Uh, Kevin Hart, even he's funny in this. I'm not a big fan of his. Um, Karen Gillan from uh, Doctor Who and uh, the new Avengers films. She plays a little blue girl. Um, very, very funny. And there's a little homage to uh, Robin Williams' character, Alan... Alan Parrish, I might have got that right, um, Jumper in 3D, love this film too, uh, Hayden Christensen gets a lot of hate, does he still act, and uh, Samuel Jackson who is hunting him down, now the story is Hayden Christensen can like teleport and uh, he comes across a guy who can also do teleportation, played by Jamie Bell. And these two guys are being hunted down by Samuel Jackson's character. And it's just a really good story. Good effects. Now, I've got the 3D and the 2D. If you get the 3D, 3D disc doesn't come with any extras, according to the back. So I kept the 2D, because the 2D, because uh, this is the cover on the inside, comes with a load of extras. So if you get the 3D, keep a 2D version as well. 3D is not that great in that. Jungle, Daniel Radcliffe. Jungle Book, what a good animated film this is. Just should the Sherman Brothers, the the two guys that do all the, the composer songs, what a, what talent. And the artist, don't forget the artist. Um, and then you've got the the live action version, which is so good. The the only problem I had with that was uh, Christopher Walken. What was the story with King Louis? He was like fifty foot tall. He was like King Kong. The voices, Bill Murray, Idris Elba, Scotty Hansen, Christopher Walken, just... And the, uh, the director, John Favreau, who does... Uh, he was happy in um, uh, Iron Man. He plays happy, the butler thing. He directed that. Steve, Cashier One, did it again. Sent me this one. Jungle to Jungle, Tim Allen. Can't go wrong with that. That's the 20th anniversary edition. It's probably a bit older than that now. Don't know, it doesn't say. Junior, German um, import. I think this is out now in the UK. I've had this for a long, long time. Um, Arnold Sweaty Knickers, Danny DeVito, Emma Thompson, um, scientists that make a man pregnant. Juno, well, not just a man, he is one of the scientists. Uh, Juno, yeah, this is a dark, dark comedy drama. Back teenage pregnancy and then Paige. Um, I was saying the other day well, she ain't been in anything, but then I picked up a film with her in. Uh, Michael Cera, don't think he's been in anything much. Uh, Jason Bateman, like his actor Jennifer Garner, good actress. Alison Janney from The West Wing and I Tonya, great actress, and J.K. Simmons, of course. Such a good film, such a good movie. Uh, I've not seen this one. Uh, Jupiter Ascending in 3D. And I've had this for ages. I really need to watch this one. Um, but I've heard such bad things. But I make my own mind up. And uh, Sean Bean's in that. Who else? Nobody else. Well, no, are other people. Jurassic Park. The original, the best uh, 3D. Now, if you've seen, if you've got the 2D version. When uh, the, the the overweight guy who's smuggling out the embryos, um, Dennis, when he's going through and he's uh, his truck stop hits a truck hits a tree, he slides down the thing and then that like dinosaur goes, 
look for the wires on the 2D version. You can see the wires, like, they sort of pull them, like that. 3D, they've removed the wires. They've, sort of, they've cleared up the film, they've made it a little bit crisper, a little bit darker, it's a really good version. I should only watch a 3D from now on on that. It's beautiful transfer. The Lost World. If this was the standalone film, if this never existed, people would run and rave about this film. This is a good dinosaur film. Pete Possible, is it the one with Pete Possible White? I also forget which one, yeah, Pete Possible White. Um, Jurassic Park 3 with William H. Macy, uh, Tia Leone. Um, again, if this was a standalone film, I think people would run and rave about this. This is a good film. I like them all. And uh, have I got these around the way? Yeah, this one. This was a con when this came out in the UK on 3D. You never got a 2D Blu ray with it, you could only watch it in 3D. There wasn't the option, so um, I had to go out and buy the 2D as well, which was really annoying. But there you go, done. So I think that cost like 30 quid for that set. I think you can buy it now in the pan shop. Again, good film, Chris Pratt and he's returning with this one also that um dice bryce dallas howard oh, gosh she's a good looking woman um toby jones is in this one as well plays a little sniveling sleazy git just cause sorry at least in there just cause uh story um Lawrence Fishburn is a detective and um, Sean Connery is a German release by the way it's uh, Warner Brothers so it's probably region free he's brought in to investigate some guy who well he's, he's writing a book and um, it's brought to his attention there's a guy on death row he's presumably innocent so uh, he investigates uh, Blair, Blair Underwood plays the, uh, the, the convict you've also got um, Scott Johansson there this is a really good thriller set in um, the Swamplands in America Just Friends one of the funniest Christmas films I'd say this was a Christmas film it is around Christmas you've got um, Ryan Reynolds who I'm not a big fan of lately but I think this is probably his best film yes yeah, better than Deadpool he dons a fat suit um, as a child. He gets humiliated when someone reads out his, his like declaration of love to his, uh, his like love interest, who is um, Amy Smart. Yeah, Amy Smart. He runs off, leaves town, slims down, becomes successful, comes back to town with this uh, this nutter Anna Faris. He's like a music producer, something like that, and. Um, he tries to win back the love of Amy Smart in this small village in like this frozen wasteland of a town. It's just so funny, all over Christmas. Brilliant. Just getting started. I've not seen this one. Um, Morgan Freeman, Tommy Lee Jones, Rina Russo. I need to watch this one. This was an import from Germany. Just go with it. This is another rental copy of uh, another Adam Sandler film. Just goes to show, doesn't it? I didn't actually mind this one so much so much better than Jack and Jill. Uh, you've got Jennifer Aniston this time. It adds a little bit of class to it. Justice. This is the one with Nicolas Cage and Guy Pearce. January Jones. January Jones on the X-Men film. She plays the uh, the Diamond Woman. Um, Guy Pearce from Neighbours. Was he home and away? I can't remember. And Nicolas Cage. Just Nicolas Cage. Yeah. Uh, Guy Pearce offers Nicolas Cage a proposition. Should he take it? Shouldn't he? You have to wait and see. Cool, that's old. Look at that. You got an advert there for Jason Statham's Safe coming to cinemas soon. May the 11th. Oh, it's next week. Justice League 3D. Now, this, I've only seen the extended version of this, and I love it. I think it's a really good film. You've got Aquaman, Superman, Cyborg Man, or whatever he is, um, The Flash, Batman, and Wonder Woman. What is not the love? Um, I understand you've got comic book fans that uh, rip it apart because it's not going the way they want to. Well, you have to become directors yourselves, wouldn't you, and go out and make your own version of it. Um, I thought this was really good. Now, whether 
you've seen the the cut copy and you, it doesn't make any sense i don't know i've only seen the extended version and i loved it i thought it was really good just my luck you got lindsay lohan who's always lucky and chris pine who is completely unlucky it's like one of those vice versa movies uh i don't know if they get struck by lightning fall in a fountain take a pill just wish upon a star i can't remember how it goes but they swap he gets lucky she gets unlucky and she wants her luck back and it's a mom com just married this is the last one of the jays and this is Ashton Kutcher and the uh, late Brittany Murphy, rest your soul, who incidentally died because she was a germaphobe. She kept all the windows shut because she didn't want the germs from outside and the germs inside killed her. Um, yes, uh, they get married and uh, comedy ensues. I think there's a lot of it is on their honeymoon. It's, uh, I can't remember a lot about it, but it, it was funny. That's why I bought it. So that was the Jays. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if I made any mistakes, I apologize with names. And uh, leave a comment, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you've not. This is free, costs you nothing. You can even skip, if you see my notification, you can skip it, you don't have to watch it. It's there for your convenience. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, bye-bye.